Let's look at the answers to quiz 2x. Problem 1, evaluate this limit. So if you try to plug in x is equal to 5, you would get 0 over 0, which is not, does not exist. If you get a 0 in the bottom, it's usually a bad thing, but if you get an accompanying 0 in the top, that usually means you can factor and cancel off the factors that are creating those zeros. So let's see if we can do that in this case. So the limit as x goes to 5, x squared minus 25 factors as x minus 5 times x plus 5. And x squared minus 7x plus 10 factors as x minus 5 and x minus 2. And sure enough, the factor that is causing the 0 is x minus 5, and that cancels from both the top and the bottom. Rewrite. The limit as x goes to 5 of x plus 5 over x minus 2. Now we can evaluate the limit by plugging in x equals 5. And we get 10 over 3. For question 2, we need the number of people in a community college that has contracted the flu during this flu season can be modeled by this function, where x is the number of days since the spring semester began. Find the average rate the flu is spreading between days 10 and 50 of the spring semester. So the average rate of change here would be f of 50 minus f of 10 over 50 minus 10 and then you can work that out in the calculator and you would get 54 people per day part b is find the instantaneous rate the flu is spreading on day 10. so the instantaneous rate of change that is given by the derivative so I'll use the shortcut to find the derivative. You could do it the long way if you wanted to, but there's no need to do that here since we know the shortcut now. It's negative 0.2x plus 60. And on day 10, we plug in 10. And we get 58 people per day. Let's look at the answers to quiz 2y. Uh, we have a limit as x goes to 7. So if you try to evaluate this, you get 0 over 0. Again, that does not mean that the limit does not exist. If you have 0 over 0, that means that we have a bad factor in the denominator, but the same bad factor in the numerator that we can try to cancel. So let's write the limit as x goes to 7. Factor the numerator. That factors as x minus 7 times x plus 7. Factor the denominator. That's x minus 7 and x minus 8. Here we have the same factor, x minus 7. That cancels. That leaves me with the limit as x goes to 7 of x plus 7 over x minus 8. Now we can evaluate the limit because we don't have 0 on the bottom anymore. So that's 7 plus 7 over 7 minus 8, which is negative 14. In problem 2, we have the flu question. The model is f of x is equal to negative 0.1x squared plus 80x plus 50. In question A, we want to find the average rate of change that the flu is spreading. And that's between days 20 and 30. So this would be f of 30 minus f of 20 over 30 minus 20. Use a calculator to crunch these numbers and you get 75 people per day. Part B is to find the instantaneous rate that the flu is spreading on day 20. The instantaneous rate of change is given by the derivative. So we need to find the derivative of the function f. We'll use the shortcut since we know that now. 
that's negative 0 0.2 x plus 80 and we're looking for it on day 20 so we evaluate the derivative at x equals 20 and we get 76 people per day.